it was one of New York City's deadliest streets, a combat zone where one pedestrian after another was mowed down trying to get across. Cars and trucks hurtling down Queens Boulevard left a rising death toll in their wake, including 18 pedestrians killed just in a single year, in 1997. Overall, since 1990, a total of 186 people have been killed on this one street, of whom 138 were pedestrians. Before long, the street earned lasting notoriety in tabloid headlines as the Boulevard of Death. But today, the Boulevard of Death is no more. Not a single pedestrian or cyclist has been killed on the seven-mile-long thoroughfare that slices through Queens since 2014. The Boulevard of Death has become the Boulevard of Life, declared Mayor Bill de Blasio in an interview. We've turned the corner. Queens Boulevard has become the poster child for MR. De Blasio's ambitious Vision Zero campaign to eliminate traffic deaths citywide through a host of enforcement measures and safety improvements, including redesigning streets and retiming walk signals to give pedestrians a head start in crosswalks. His administration has faced criticism from some transportation advocates and community leaders that the campaign has stalled. While the overall number of people killed in traffic crashes declined last year to 231, pedestrian deaths the largest share of those fatalities rose to 148, up from 139 in 2015. This year's numbers are more promising, with 198 overall traffic deaths as of November. 21, or 11 fewer than the same time last year. Of those, 92 involved pedestrians, or 41 fewer than the year before, while 19 involved cyclists, or two more than the year before. Caroline Samponero, Deputy Director of Transportation Alternatives, an advocacy group, said that while the transformation of Queens Boulevard showed that Vision Zero was progressing, there were plenty of other dangerous streets that needed to be tamed. Their immediate fix must happen as soon as possible and on a clear public timeline if Vision Zero is to be realized, she said. This will mean making the changes that have happened on Queens Boulevard the norm, not the exception. Queens Boulevard is one of the city's best-known arteries, even meriting a cameo in the popular HBO series, Entourage, when the main character, Vince, stars in a movie of that name. It carries traffic between the Queensboro Bridge, which crosses over the East River to Manhattan, and fast-growing neighborhoods in central Queens. Pieced together from existing streets in the early 1900s, the boulevard once included a trolley line that shuttled riders back and forth to Manhattan during the 1920s and 1930s. One of its most distinctive features and one of the most dangerous for pedestrians is that it is broad enough to carry up to a dozen vehicle lanes. It stretches as wide as 300 feet across in some places, or one-third more than some Manhattan blocks. In contrast, First Avenue in Manhattan, another bustling corridor, is only 70 feet wide. Side streets are typically 30 feet wide. For pedestrians, that meant crossing Queens Boulevard was a race to the other side before the traffic lights turned green.